Tonight, the biggest egos in poker are hitting the table. The Devilfish, Phil Helmuth, and Tony G. Who will win the battle? I'm the guy to beat. You know, I'm the man. You think these bracelets <coughs> just fall into my lap? No, I don't think I'm <laughs> I'm You can pretend you're a winner. Wanna take me on? No one understands Hold'em in this world like I do right now. Tony G, I mean, the only reason you're invited to the league, to be honest, is your personality. What list are you on in the top 500 in the world? You're good at telling people to ride bikes. Get on your bike. How many years can he believe he's a better player but more unlucky against me? Well, that's the question I want to ask Phil Helm. Tony's so bad, he ships with the three. Just I'm the worst. He knows he's the Keep worst. Keep telling. Am I getting out of line? Right. Give me a warning. If I was made out of chocolate, he would have eaten himself years ago, you know what I mean? I mean, if you lost your mind, seriously. Are you trying to tell the world that you know more about poker than I do? I think he might be jealous of me again. Turn my microphone up. Turn this down if you're not you. If you got a bad beat early on, I think he's ever gone. So let's look forward to that, huh? Going into tonight's match, of course, all four of the top of the leaderboard out of action. J.C. Tran, 26 points. He will be ahead no matter what happens tonight. There's going to be big movement in the playoff zone, though. Tony G, Tom Dwan, Andy Black all in action, and some big points could ensure someone like Tony G's run to the final table. In the relegation zone, I mean, it couldn't be a bigger spot for Helmuth and the Devilfish. One of them has to score big to get right back in the thick of it. And if either one of them grabs the bagel, uh-oh. Over in the green room, most of the players have been here waiting for an hour for two late arrivals, and it doesn't go down well. Very bad traffic. I left eight don't minutes after you did. Don't ever complain again. Don't ever fucking complain again. Bring it on, fish. We waited for you two hours last year. You ever one more time, I'm going to put that dust right on a fucking big fat chip. <laughs> I don't think you want to mess with me, Fish. Today I feel some pressure. It's about time, too. I hope the wheels don't fall off, that's all. Now I need a win. I'm gambling today. It's a super tanker full of egos coming onto the table. And JC, I think we're going to be in for a lot of fun tonight watching these guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, this should be titled like the bad boys version of the uh, Premier League. <laughs> you can see the chips on the table. Yellow's worth 1,000, blues are two, red's 5,000 each. There's 100,000 in front of every player and 600 k oh, yeah. Ego's always flying, JC, but helmet. I mean, three points and Dwan on his left. He has to be careful. So it's probably going to fold a lot of hands today. I mean, he might he might be Tony here for another hour and a half and still have about the same stack, just folding, 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 maybe picking up the blinds here and there. He won't be folding this hand. Cole. And uh, Cole, what is his what is his tactic going to be with Dwan on his left? I mean, is he is he going to try? Oh my gosh. Whoa, he limped in, in this spot with ace queen, um, hoping that like Dwan would try to uh, raise here, raise the limp here um, on the button. But uh, it looked like uh, well, I was moving in on Durr. <laughs> Tom wants to play a, 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 a flop here with his hand, but now that Andy's raised down the big blind, it's going to be interesting. Please move in, Durr. There's three players in the hand. Shouldn't be saying that. Why not? Guys. Encourage an action whenever there's three players in the hand. Yeah. Heads up. I agree. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Did you ever say anything nice to me, Annie? It's, not a big it's just the rules, you know? No, that's it's fine. It's not a question of being not nice. It's just the no, rules. No, you're right. Yeah, Did you ever, you're right. Now I'll ask you a question and see how you handle yourself. Do you ever say anything nice to me? Regularly. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't exactly nasty. Huh? My girlfriend thinks you look like a chipmunk. There you go. That's that's what I'm used to. I don't think that's being fair on the chipmunks, you know. I mean, you get some nice looking chipmunk. <laughs> now is Helmuth good away, good enough to get away from this? Yes. Uh, see, Helmuth is playing his hand not to overplay any board, even if it came ace high. I don't think Helmuth's going to put in a raise if Andy let out. Phil Helmuth, he probably is the most successful poker player of all time. And he was pathetic in the Premier League last year. And I'm not sure, did he learn anything from it? Or is he, is he married to the tactics which have been so successful for, uh, for him in winning 
big field tournaments against weaker players. You know, these aren't kiddies down the street. You know, these are some of the greatest players in the world. If you have a weakness, it will be found. No, you don't play <laughs> That's probably, it is for me. It is very boring for anyone else. It is, it is for me, though. It's the worst game. Right now, I think everyone's already noticing that Roland is is the tightest player at the table right now. So they're gonna they're gonna pick on him and come after him. No, no, no. I mean, no, no, no. When Dura and these guys were playing a high limit horse and they didn't know what they were doing, you didn't have to run good. Well, that's different. All these guys came from no limit and started right went right to high limit horse. Those games were fantastic. G on the button and Raise raising with nothing. And this is not a huge hand for the fish. This is the naked ace. Deuce. He made a re-raise. And I mean, how look at that. Insta-fold for Roland with the ace jack. Wow, very surprising here. You might have saved me that, Tony. Fish don't always have to have too much to I knew it was show exactly a deuce. Had to be a deuce. <laughs> yeah, but you, you know, you, you know, I'd be good. That's going to make Roland pretty sick, isn't it? Roland's actually thinking four, what everyone else is thinking, that Delphish is not going to be fooling around because he needs points. But I guess Delphish is like doing the reverse psychology. about two deuces, Phil isn't letting lie on the fish's commentary of his big lay down against Dwan in the first heat. So, so, so you're so when it, when I had the Jack Nine of Hearts and he flopped the full house, yeah. you're on record as saying I shouldn't have even bet the river. Now all 11 yeah. other Premier League players said I should no, have bet. Don't. He no, said I should have no, snapped called the no, raise all in actually. No, they don't. I can't say how you don't bet. I you didn't say that. I said I would have bet. Well, no, because if he's got a nice, why yeah. Andy? Do you understand what happened? Yes. If he's got a nice yeah. in the three out, say so why is he going to give a free go out? Why would you do that? Different. You just got personal fish for some reason. I don't yeah. know what's your problem. I just problem. said my opinion. Yes, no, no, no. You, you were like in my commentary opinion. box. No, it's my opinion on it. I, I don't think you should have bet at the end. More or less. I raise. Raise. Let's pot it. 5,000 more, 7 total. Jack 9 again, Dur. You just get the feeling that Helmut. He keeps raising, but he does not want to play pots against Tom, does he? You're going to let me run you over? This is ridiculous. Come on, man. You're the supposed to one that's supposed to run me over, kid. You've got three points, for You haven't won anyone over. Not even in the car. Durr is just dying to find a hand to re-raise <laughs> Phil here. He doesn't like give me that much credit for being on that level. Even when you're in the NASCAR, out of control, you never manage to run anyone over. Oh. All I know is Phil is, uh, is I just say it as I see it, and I've never said out by the body. Oh, fish! <laughs> when you're in the commentary box, you see the whole cards. You 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 act like it. you always say, "Oh, I would have done this," because you can see the hands. You're, you're, that's why you, that's your weakness as a commentator. I love you because you're the funniest commentator. You have the most personality. I love it, but you you don't call it the right way. No, actually, I call the hands a lot of times before. Yeah, you whatever. Just, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's what everybody else said about you. So I'm just telling you what the opinion well, is. You don't want to wear what they all say about you. Well, they bring it on, man. I mean, um, you know. And if, sorry, any, if all of these guys agree you should bet at the end with your flush, then in my opinion, none of them can play fucking poker. Right. Also. So, so all Check. 11 of us can't play. Yeah. Well, but the know. ironic thing is, when I catch you later, like betting in the same situation, I won't bring it up to you. We'll take a look at the score sheet, mate. Eight. Eight thousand. He's definitely playing a lot, sort of more standard kind of poker tonight, I mean, Phil. You know, raise him before the flop, betting after the flop. Yes, I think the first couple levels are the only levels that's going to allow him to do that. Once the blinds uh, kick up a little bit, Phil's going to snug a bit. I mean, has he asked you about this? No? Yeah, of course. No, no, he just said that. This is one great thing about Helmut. He's, that he's, he's got so much confidence that he's, he can bounce back, can't he? I mean, he can bring his best game to the table. Yeah, that's what makes him Phil Helmut. You know, he, he rarely gives up, even when he's low or, you know, yeah, but what, getting what, beaten in a bunch of ways. I mean, he's, he's, he's always going to try to fight back. Yes. I would bet. I would bet. That's well, that's a, yeah. I think everyone would bet. Would you would bet? You would bet, right? Cool. How many Let's times? Go, you, guys. I think we shouldn't Pass. talk about poker. A little yeah. from the Let's devil fish. Let's talk about something else. But how many times out of how many times out of a million would you bet there? Oh, let's go, let's go. We're all losers unless we got a lot of money that we want from but then again, you'll bring This is a limped flop, JC, and, and I mean, a lot of guys yeah. could have oh, raised if they wanted to. Stupid. Yeah, yeah everyone's got pretty much playable hands, though. So. Now you're going to dig yourself a little bigger grave. So, so go ahead, dig some it. cash games if you're such a great poker player. Oh, so it's about that now? 
Well, you want to talk about the hand? Are you telling that? You want to talk about the hand? Are you trying to sell the you know more about poker than I do? So you want to? So you want to talk about other stuff? What are you trying to say? Because you said something stupid. No, I said exactly how it was. You said something stupid. And you know when I told people in the green room, they all agreed with me. So I don't know you've been asking. What are we actually talking about? Exactly. I don't know. You're supposed to know. This is just the first time Devilfish and Helmut like have, ago, have been so at the same table, and uh, I think the they've, sort of, they've got a lot, a lot of uh, stuff to catch up on. <laughs> oh, yes, they've been waiting for this yeah. moment, true, the last very good fight. couple yeah. heats. Okay. Now, Tony G checked the, the 10, and Devilfish has got the flush draw. I mean, should anybody be betting here, or is it ha are they happy to keep the pot cheap? I mean... Well, it's tough when it's five okay. ways 